So, the Meg, you have described this movie as, uh, uh, like, Jurassic Park meets Jaws. Yes. This, this is a big shark. This is a giant shark. We set out to make the second best shark movie ever. Wow. <laughs> and I think we have achieved that. <laughs> Whoa, that's great. Yeah. You gotta know what you're aiming for. Yes. We tried to take out Deep Blue Sea. Oh, you know interesting. I mean? little, this is... Little known shark reference. <laughs> little known... So, you, yeah. uh... <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, obviously, CGI shark. Yes. Uh, you couldn't get any sharks to agree to be in this movie. They, but, they wouldn't do it. Uh, yeah. But the real, no CGI, the real Jason Statham, you, first time uh, Wilson and Statham have teamed up. Oh, yeah, first time with Statham. <laughs> That's right. I'd see, I would like to be around Jason Statham. Is it, is, is it exciting as I, it sounds? I, I am like a fangirl around Jason Statham. Yeah. I love his movies. Uh, he is one of the few action stars of, like, when he says, like, I'm gonna kick your ass. Like, you believe him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He could kick the crap out of people. Yeah, you know? I believe that after takes of his movies, someone's ass had actually been kicked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. But uh, someone asked me in a, in a press tour earlier, they were saying, like, well, if you were going to voice the Meg, you know, if it was an animated, like, who should voice the Meg? And I was like, well, <laughs> Jason Statham. <laughs> right, yeah. And that would be an interesting conversation. It would be like, um, oh, I'm going to make you bleed, Jack. And then the shark would be like, not if I bite you in half fast. I'd like to see you try. I'm gonna swim into you and bite you with my teeth. You know, whatever, you know. Right. You know. The sharks are uh, hit, like, historically bad at comebacks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shark sharks, um... Yeah. Sharks like to write their own material. Yeah, they're like, you know, I want to just find it on the day. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> improvise their lines. Uh, are you afraid of sharks? I am, I am afraid of sharks. Yeah. I am also afraid of salmon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid of anything you're going to find in the water uh -huh. that might swim somewhat near you. Yeah. So if it's a guppy or a minnow or a barnacle or a or a piece of kelp that touches my calf. I'm like, I'm like, ah, ah. You know? So I get out of the water. So am I afraid of sharks? Yes, I am also afraid of sharks. Okay, see, so, but like, that's not, yeah. like, gonna be like, there's just this one thing that right. Brain's afraid of. It's not that. No, it's anything in the water that touches my body, <laughs> body other than sand and water itself. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And, and a girl in a bikini. Other than that, but, it would be. But you, you think getting eaten by a shark, if you had to go, would be a cooler way to go? It would be an awesome way to go. I mean, think about it. Like, the guy who played Dwight was eaten by a shark? would be like, <laughs> yeah. that's badass. Yeah. Am I right? Because I, there are so many humiliating ways to die. I had one of those in my life once. I borrowed my handyman Pablo's van to go down to Home Depot once. It was a true, absolutely true story. And it was a 1974 Dodge huge van. And I, was, I pulled it out in traffic, and I noticed the seat was too far back. So I kind of adjusted the bar and slid it up. And then my fing it slid over my finger, and my finger was stuck. And I could barely see above the steering wheel, and I'm in traffic, and I'm like, ah, 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 <laughs> and I'm, I'm and I can't find the brake, and I'm going down Van Nuys Boulevard uh, like this, and I and I really thought in my head, like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die with my finger under my anus, <laughs> and they're gonna they're gonna see me. And like TMZ is gonna take photos of my body, and this is how I will be found dead. Like, so I would absolutely love to be eaten by a shark. Yeah, I hadn't thought of it that way, but no. that yeah. Think about it. I'd be reading that, being like, ah, oh, I thought he would have had a newer van. <laughs> uh, the Meg, I did not know this. The Meg is short for megalodon. The megalodon, yes. And this is something uh, your son knew. Yes, it, it actually existed like 100 million years ago. It was the biggest apex predator that planet Earth has ever seen, next to Jason Statham. Uh -huh. And uh, my son was a huge fan of megalodons, and he, my mom actually sent him a megalodon tooth. Wow. I don't know where she found it, eBay. I don't know where <laughs> yeah. you get a megalodon tooth. How but big is a megalodon tooth? It's like this, it's like this big. It's like a okay. big, it's like a big bony triangle. Gotcha. And it's sharp. And my son would come home from school and he'd have an apple for a snack and he'd use it as a knife. <laughs> And he would, he'd be cutting up slices of apple with a, with a hundred million year old tooth. And um, that's the crazy live 
that TV celebrities live. Yeah, you exactly. Know, it's just weird, you know? Uh, this is weird. my son. He cuts his meat with a megalodon tooth. <laughs> uh, you play, a, but you actually play a, 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 an eccentric billionaire yeah. in this film, and you have, in real life, you've crossed paths with billionaires. Yeah, it's an odd thing that TV actors, uh, billionaires love to hang out with, like, sports figures and, like, TV actors. Uh -huh. And I've been at just different events and award shows and parties, and there's billion chock a block with billionaires. And it's like, oh, there's Elon Musk and there's other billionaires and stuff. And so I really based this guy. He's Jack Morris, is, he's kind of the comic relief and also kind of the villain in the movie. So it's an interesting kind of combination. But I took some of those qualities that, that billionaires have. That oftentimes, billionaires have this kind of like, boyish sense of wonder about the world. And you'll meet them and they're, they're like in Air Jordans and like a track suit. And they're like, hey, wow, that's cool. How do these cameras work? Whoa. <laughs> you know, they, they, uh, and that kind of curiosity, I think, makes them who they are. But yeah. they can also turn real quick and you see a dark side, you know, <laughs> where they, you know how they got to where they got. <laughs> right, know? yeah. So, uh, right, the Air Jordans came later, but the crazy uh, genius part was first. Yes, yeah. the, the evil Scrooge capitalist <laughs> genius is underneath <laughs> that boyish wonder. Uh, well, it's nice to see that in film, and it's always wonderful to see you here. Thank you so much for coming back.